guys so today is not going to be a car video it's going to be a shop ac video and a lot of you wanted me to do this but we had a little bit of a rough time putting it in the battle in the heat it's about 92 degrees high humidity right now in missouri and we'll do an update video later a few months from now telling you guys how this thing runs so i bought a 24,000 btu mr cool mini split so this is a single head mini split and it's running right now it's super 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 quiet it's no more noise than a, a fan on like the interior fan right so it's all just kind of in here right now i didn't want to permanently fix everything until we knew this thing worked and i could have got up to a thirty-six thousand btu this shop is 24 by 48 so what is that not quite 15 13 or 1500 square feet i don't know with that guy glitter i think it's 1240 something square feet to be exact um and this has 16 foot tall ceilings cathedral ceiling so we'll eventually have a second story in here so we're not going to have to worry too much about this this is framed on two by six walls it has good windows and doors high efficiency low uv this has zip system green board has a metal roof just to give you some specs on it um we have r19 fiberglass is going to get rolled in here sorry the floor is a mess we just got done putting all this stuff in all right so anyway what i was saying get out of the wind here this thing should be pretty fitting for the shop obviously there's no insulation in it yet a bunch of us sitting right there got a bunch more to get but i just want to get it turned on today so we got it installed to see if it's going to cool the shop with no insulation at all it's like i said it's about 92 degrees outside so far it's cooling down quickly it's been on for about 30 minutes um probably took i don't know a good five minutes to get all the way down to temperature i just stuck it on 62 and if you're not familiar with these your choices for ac for a shop is either a window unit and i could have done that um to get a 24,000 bt window unit you're probably at what four to five hundred bucks i don't know i never bought one that big uh, the other option is to do a central unit and i was pricing that for a two-ton central um my cost if i bought it myself put it in myself did everything myself a gas furnace uh you know the whole works it was about three thousand dollars just for the unit itself that's no duct work that's no installation pieces that's nothing it's just to get the unit physically here right and like for a shop you don't really need ducts it's all one room so you just need basically an elbow on it uh, but you have a few hundred dollars in this or that and a lot of it was there's a few hundred more dollars in charging the ac system itself and a lot of people don't realize that it, the average price of the charge of a home ac unit is about 400 dollars uh, i could have got it done for cheaper than that but your average customer is gonna have to pay that for it and so if you didn't want to do the central this was the only other option these are about twelve hundred dollars <throat> and i got to fix that drain hose too i see it dripping out the front these are about twelve hundred dollars the new generation of these are supposed to be very very good with very little problem and i'm going to show you a few things here what you got to do you can see we just had it on for a little bit we got a little drip out of the front and that means that our drain hose has a little kink and i think it's where it goes through the wall at so we're going to unwrap that a little bit i'll show you here so the drain hose we have wrapped in this and we probably shouldn't have done that um looking back on it all that stuff's not mounted or anything the siding's not even done this place is in full construction mode and you know at this point we need to wind this down a little bit get it situated behind the unit and free up the hose the drain hose is out here we're eventually going to put a pipe that goes under the door here and drains the water out because this is going to have a lot of water coming out of it and you can see here it's just kind of blurping out of there at this minute um so there is that i did buy the installation kit that's what you see right here it has a little hood the little elbow that comes out of the wall and then it covers this stuff going all the way down to the unit you can break it whatever you want cut it wherever you want and break out um 
we had this temporarily wired in and by temporary i mean i actually bought the right cable the outdoor cable for this that has the gray uh sheathing on it but got home from old menards and well i don't see it anywhere so i'm not sure what happened to it so i need to go buy another one but for today since the insulation's not in we just want to hook it up make sure it worked and make sure it wasn't a problem with it and these are real easy these are pre-charged if you don't already know and you just have the two lines that go on to it and then you take these caps off the end here and there is a allen screw in there you just turn them uh reverse it counterclockwise until it stops gently and leave it that releases all the gas into the lines so this outside unit is pre-charged not the inside unit not the lines aren't pre-charged this outside unit itself this cover goes up over here for today we'll put that on there but like i said we can't permanently fix everything until we get the little piece that we need but i guess i'll just buy twice but it was only like 11 dollars, wasn't that bad and these things also are a heat pump so that was another deciding factor of this in the winter time we have heat and some of the reviews we've seen in the past those guys are running those heat pumps at five degrees fahrenheit and even negative five and they were still getting 138 140 degree heat out of the heat pump uh, here in missouri it doesn't get that cold very often uh, if it does it doesn't stay that cold and we might even have a backup heater in here just in case that could kick on in case it does get to that point but this is a shop so it's not like it, you're gonna be freezing in your house if this keeps it above freezing in here at the coldest day of the year that's all we really need so there is that overall like i said about twelve hundred dollars with a bracket um, with that ducting or that little cover for the pipes and all that stuff eleven hundred dollars off amazon for this exact unit i will put a link in the description for it um we had a little bit of issue real quick i'll tell you guys so there stop dripping since i crunched the hose around since i didn't tell you guys this um essentially I think what we might do is actually replace that little drain hose, that plastic drain hose, it's something a little more stiff. I'll see what I can figure out on that. So we never have a problem with it draining. You can see it stopped dripping just by shuffling around a little bit. And this does come with a remote. So this remote um, controls the whole machine. You have all kinds of different features on here. You have turbo mode, which makes it blow way, way harder. Then you could also swing the louvers and that fans the air out. Let me go off to the side here. You can see the louvers moving. And then you have all your sleep settings. You can turn all the mode for the heat or just the fan, depends on what you're looking for. LED, you turn the LED off, tells you the temperature. Uh, follow me, I'm not sure what all that is. It has self clean mode. There is filters. You flip this lid up, there is filters up in here. It's still running, but you can see it has cleanable filter just like a window unit has up here. This whole thing pops down, barely reach it, latches shut. And you can see the louvers go all the way down the floor and then all the way up. The last thing is you can actually control this from your phone. So this unit has an app that runs it, so you can actually control it from your phone when you're far away. It connects to the Wi Fi and all that stuff. We'll probably end up doing that. Uh, you could also set up parameters on it. So kick on at a certain time or off at a certain time, whatever you have you, whatever you're into. And that's pretty much it. Other than electrical hookups, but I'll show you that right now too, actually. So on this unit, got a camera above the old airflow here. We have this operation up in here. So you have uh, four wires you have to hook up and they're all numbered. So I had the first issue, this thing, the inside unit worked, the outside did not work. And we had the black and reds flipped around. It doesn't matter if they're one way or another, but the outside has to match exactly. So on this, we had the black all the way to the left on number one, and the red on number two. And after changing stuff around, uh, here, instead of having the black, touch that real quick, instead of the black on number one for the inside unit wiring, we had it on two, we had them swapped. And the instructions aren't very clear on that. So if you guys get one of these, pay very close attention to that it's also very unclear on hooking the 220 up to it and you just go red and black on l1 and l2 and then we just put the white on the ground put little crampons on it so they fit in the terminals otherwise they don't fit 
this is 10 gauge uh white goes to ground then over here these are these three are the inside wires so on number three it goes white number red it goes two and number black goes one and that has to match the inside now that brings you one other point i'll let you guys go on selecting the wire i have a a 220 breaker in it so it's a double breaker right because you need two hots i have a double 30. you can supposedly get by with the double 20 with no issue but i didn't have that so we threw the double 30 on it the other issue is this thing draws about 25 amps um and so i figured a 30 was about right it said 20 to 25 or something weird i don't know if you can see it on the gopro or not but up here so it says compressor load 15 amps minimum circuit capacity 20 amps max fuse 25 amps so that comes down to then what gauge wire do you need right because you could buy 12 12 3 pretty cheap you could buy 10 3 not so damn cheap at all actually it was about 70 dollars for 50 foot and it's right on the line where you need 12 3 or 10 3 wire and went ahead and went with 10. um i don't want to have an issue down the road where the wire is getting hot this thing's pumping his guts out in the summertime when it's 110 outside whatever i don't want to have any issues with that so we did 10 uh so figure that in depends on how far this is away from your breaker box the 50 foot roll is about 70 bucks 100 foot roll it gets cheaper the more you get right if you need a 100 foot roll i think it was 120 something or 130 bucks for a 100 foot roll um so keep that in mind that's about the only cost i could really see a breaker some wire just figure an extra couple hundred dollars to get this thing all mounted up worst case scenario if you have to pay electrician figure that in too luckily i don't have to do that um and everything works out good so that's gonna be it guys stay tuned for more videos well have one more video of this thing a few months down the road let you know some heating and cooling cost of it and if it's gonna keep up this summer it's gonna be it thanks for watching guys have a good day we'll see y'all later